It's me, John, on the ladder. Nothing's gotten done. Welcome to episode two, my good people. We got dumped on last night, so uh, this place is a little bit wet. Not a problem, because it wouldn't be a good project if we didn't get filthy. So what we're gonna do to start out here is we're gonna clean this up a bit, do a little hard raking, put down some felt paper to prevent the weed, because we only like one kind of weed here. And then we're gonna put some gravel over top of it uh, in order to keep the bottom of the deck nice and clean and, and, and purdy. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna frame this son bitch. Should be a good one, let's get to it. So it's gloomy, it's gross, it is literally the worst situation it could be. But we're gonna persevere because that's life. Now, the most stressful and uh, terrible thing that could happen here is because we're cutting the window after the deck's up so we can be on both sides working, we're putting the ledger board on now. It's probably the wrong way to do this, or it's the right way, we don't know. But we're going with it. So. We've taken a measurement from the window down to the floor on the inside, and then we're bringing, that measurement lands us at like 34 inches, which is in this area. We're gonna drop it down, because we don't mind if there's a step down to the deck coming out of the house, to 100% make sure we are hitting below where the door frame will be. If it's above, we'd be fucked. We're bringing that down another couple inches, and we're gonna use this brick line seam as our gauge, because then that'll line up nicely with where the siding peels off, and then we can actually fasten the ledger on these two sides of the house directly in the bottom plate here on this house framing. Fingers crossed, buttholes puckered, let's do this. Do they have this thing, this house cladded in wood siding first? It's probably pretty ambitious to rip that all off, huh? All right, kids and coaches, so now that we have the ledger boards all on, except for that one, we need the big gorilla, and he's on a phone call right now, so we're gonna have to wait until he's done. Jordan and I are gonna go ahead and get the brackets laid out for the posts. So we gotta make sure that these are all in a nice straight line, so we're gonna use some strings and some math and get this going. And hopefully, we don't get blown up by this rainstorm that's coming in. So what we might do is hide you guys in the window, and you can watch from there. So we're super stoked. All of our fasteners were supplied by Simpson Strong Tie on this one. You guys aren't familiar with Simpson Strong Tie. They rule. I just put that in backwards. You can check them out down below. So a lot of my friends have worked with them in the past and we're super excited to have them on this project. And uh, they make more than just structural fasteners. They did, did you see that project they did with Jen? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. She built a pergola and they have these like really cool industrial hardware that they make. And Everyone um, should follow Jen. And everyone should follow Jen. Because she rules. But yeah, super pumped. Appreciate your Simpson Strong Tie. This is going up way easier than I, than I thought at this part. We're going to have to bug that hole out a little bit over there. But all in all, it's coming to get. See moment. That's true. Oh, that's oh, that makes me feel happy. <laughs> Go to your own. We're dodging rain like we're patches so hulahan. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. We're gonna try to get these damn things into the, mounted into these blocks. Just keep plugging along. Bring out the big guns. Oh, my ears, my poor ears. <laughs> And for a change of pace for Yin's peoples here, we're gonna chainsaw outside where you're supposed to chainsaw. We're gonna rough cut our uh, front three beams to size, get those in, and then we are going to level and square everything off of those before we start cutting the rest. Yeah. 
So it's Friday, we got that. Uh, I feel like I was hit by a truck. Yesterday the rain completely kicked our ass and we've got three posts to show for it. But we've got guys coming to do concrete in the little walkway back there where Jordan is. Gotta make sure we get the joist hangers up there so that we can work over top of them while that concrete's placed and we don't step in it. Cause the only thing we want in that is adorable little dog prints. So we gotta do that. And then we're gonna get the rest of these posts hung and then we gotta build beams. Hopefully the rain holds out today and then I'll fall asleep. Let's get to it. So the sky has finally stopped pissing on my parade, which means we can get some literal work done. Set a few beams last night. What we're gonna do is level everything off of the bottom of our ledger boards. Um, and then we're going to rough cut all of our beams and get them set tie them together temporarily, maybe, we might do that, we might not, um, but then cut them to size after they're vertical, and then from our posts, we will make our beams, and then maybe set some joists, maybe set some rim joists, maybe eat some bacon, who knows? But the weather forecast is looking much better than it has the past couple days, so I'm stoked. Let's make some sawdust. All right, you squirrely bastards, we're making progress. We got our post brackets uh, roughed on. Now we're gonna laminate our beams together and then we're gonna throw, uh, throw those up. It'll literally just be pounding screws for the next hour. Good thing we've got a ton of impact drivers. I mean, like a literal truckload. Good morning, Ass Clown Army. I don't know if that's official yet. Sam doesn't really like it. I actually don't know if it's appropriate, but we're back on the job site. It is probably 30 degrees cooler than when we ended. At least. At least 30 degrees cooler. Sun will be peaking over here around two o'clock, so we wanna get ripping on this SOB. What we're gonna do today is, first off, you're gonna comment Ass Clownery down in the description if you wanna get entered to win one of the Pit Boss Pro Series Combos Grill, combo grills english is so hard for me that's the term we're using in this video to enter the giveaway is ass clownery hold on hold on stop stop pit boss was so stoked that like literally thousands of you have signed up for the giveaway so far that we're going to give you more chances to enter if you hit the link down in the description you can get five more entries on this video that's six total entries for this video if you comment ass clownery and hit that link so if you want more chances to win and you want more meat sweats Hit that link. Also, these t-shirts are coming. They may even be available. I've got a link down below. Check the website. Get yourself some awesomeness. Two, waterproofing. Want to put a waterproof barrier on top of our beams. We've got that, so we're gonna take these ones that we kind of mocked up here down, run all of our waterproofing on top of our beams, and then get to setting joists. And we should have something, a stable platform we can stand on by the end of the day today. This one is gonna get sweaty. It is time to land the first joist. Monumental moment in any deck build is the first joist. Okay, all the feelings are gone. Good work. We're wrapping up, hanging the joist. We're doing it, putting all into the joist hangers first. And then we're gonna set our outside to make sure everything is square. And then what we should be able to do is get perfect spacing inside. Then we'll come back and do all of the blocking. Sam's done five or six decks in his life. Pretty sure that's standard procedure, right? That's the way I've done it. That's the way he's done it. So that's the way we're gonna do it. If it's not the right way, tell us down below. Cause uh, you know, we're a bunch of ass clowns. We're making most of this up as we go. Send it. So we're setting spacing now for all of our joists to come out square off the house. <clears throat> and we're using, it's called a hurricane tie. It's newer technology to my understanding. It makes this super fast and super simple. And it's actually a lot of fun to just buzz thousands of screws in. So 
putting this base plate on here and I'm just looking to get enough spacing. I think code and PA is like two. I don't think these need to be as specific as the screws on the other parts. But now what, can I, what I can do is pull, start pulling everything into plumb square and all that good stuff. All right, kiddos. So with that, we got the last screw. God, she's sturdy. Huh, and that's gonna conclude this video. All of the rough framing, all we gotta do is some blocking, but that's boring. And we'll get to the reasons on why we're blocking so crazily in the next video. If you want an Ask Clannery t-shirt, they're for sale down below, or at least for pre-sale. Also, if you wanna enter to win the grill from Pit Boss, the Pro Series Combo, that's linked down below. You gotta comment Ask Clannery, and you should subscribe. So that way you don't miss the next part. See you over there. And if you missed part one, it's right here.